This is Virginia. Um, I wanted to show you today, I've been washing some fleeces. And these are all Wensleydale fleeces that I have on the table. And I washed them and I have spread them out here to dry. And I wanted to talk to you about the differences. Um, now, all four of these fleeces come from my flock. So these animals are coated. They are registered Wensleydales. They're of similar percentage, um, but there's an amazing difference in the fiber. And I kind of wanted to talk about that today. Um, I, f I always feel like I'm at a loss to describe the differences, the really specific differences in the fiber um, that I have to somebody who can't get their hands on it. So this first fleece, uh, we're going to look at is a Wensleydale. It's a white Wensleydale. The staple length is about, oh, probably four, between four and five inches. The lock structure, as you can see, this fleece likes, the locks like to uh, form themselves into a, I would say, a moderate lock formation, a good thickness. Um, it has a very soft handle. You can see there's pretty much no vegetable matter in this. If you pull out a lock, let's pull out another lock, this would be a great fleece to knit your locks in with because, boy, these would hold the character of the lock is there. You can really see that. Um, it would be perfect for that. Uh, you also could, if you were lock spinning this, let's grab another lock sort of randomly down in here. If you were going to lock spin this, these locks do come apart. So you could pretty easily tease them apart into this sort of fibrous mass. But I think the strength of this one is each of these individual pieces, which are just, you know, well, that one got a little cottony. Most of these, not so much. Most of these just want to be this smooth um, type of, of lock. Now let's move to the next fleece. This is another Wensleydale. This is another white registered Wensleydale from my flock. You can see there's no vegetable matter in here. Now this fleece has very fine, a very fine lock structure. It's a much longer staple, okay. It also is a lamb, a lamb fleece, which you can tell by the little curl here on the end. You can see that. Um, a much longer staple length, which is probably seven inches long or so. But you can tell immediately these locks want to fall, fall apart in much thinner locks. Uh, the integrity is definitely there, but they're quite thin, which is kind of nice. Um, would make beautiful tail spun. If you t tease that apart a little bit, that would, would make a nice tail spun yarn. It would be more difficult with this fleece to lock spin it, I think, if you're going to tease it open because you have to pull all of these apart. And it's a longer staple, be a little harder to get this mass pulled apart. Not impossible, but it's not the forte of this fiber. This fiber is just these beautiful, I mean, look at these. These are beautiful, but you, again, you can tell they're a lot thinner, sort of more delicate a structure, even if it was short. Let's see, even if it was short, going to reach over here to the first fleece. You know, th this is just chunkier. Uh, very similar, but chunkier. Okay, let's move on. Now we're going to go, don't be sick. Hope I don't get you sick by walking around. I have a GoPro on and I'm not very good at using it, but it's on my head. So that's why I have my camera here to see what I'm looking at. Okay, this is the next fleece. <coughs> Excuse me. This is, again, probably five inches long. Um, has a great character of curl. You can see how the, it, the, the lock will purl on itself back and forth. That's called purling. Um, has a beautiful handle to it. Uh, this fleece, you could definitely knit those locks in. You can see it's a little finer than the first fleece that we looked at, which is kind of chunkier. It's a little finer than that, but it's not quite as fine as, hold on, don't get sick as I move, as this one. And then the last fleece I wanted to talk about is this one, which is also a Wensleydale. This one has a nice integrity of curl on the tip. 
Okay, so you can see the tip end has a nice curl to it, but the cut end likes to be fibrous. I mean, putting these two together, you can see immediately the difference between this and this. These locks are here, the curl is there, there's some beautiful curl in there. Um, but the cut end likes to be really fibrous, um, maybe cottony, uh, fall open more. Um, again, I have trouble thinking about how to describe the difference between these two fleeces. This one is one of my favorite types of fleece to lock spin because, you know, when you go to, to, to lock spin this, it falls open. These locks are not really interested in staying in a really crisp lock formation, although you can see all the curl, it's there. But this is really easy to spin raw because you can just, you know, barely have to touch it to have it fall open and fall apart. You know, and you get this kind of a, of a, almost a webby look. Beautiful for that. This fleece would be much more difficult to lock spin, uh, excuse me, to tail spin. It's not as good. The locks don't want to hold their, um, you know, they don't want to hold their integrity individually as much as, say, this, this lock. This guy wants to just be a lock. He doesn't really want to be pulled apart. This guy would love to be pulled apart and spun. So there you go, uh, you know, four different fleeces, um, four of the same breed, not only the same breed, but also the same flock. Uh, we really need, I think as spinners, we need to have a way to describe the differences or the things that we're looking for in a fleece. I know when I sell fleeces, it would be really handy for me to be able to specify for people the type of fiber they're getting. Um, and so I'm going to work, try to work on that, and I would appreciate any of your suggestions how to define the difference for somebody if they can't get their hands on this. Um, because they're, they're all beautiful fleeces, but each one is a little different, and each one sort of has its own forte. So there you go. Hope you'll come back. Uh, join us on Shepherd Stock. We'll be talking more fiber, more fleece, uh, and more fun, hopefully. Bye.